Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2022 brand new Toyota Yaris Cross. Yes, you heard me correctly. This is a lifted version of Yaris, as you can see. And it says it right here. Yaris Cross. So yeah, this is just a lifted version of the beloved cheap car, the Toyota Yaris. So this is how it looks like. First things first, let's unlock it. This is the key for the 2022 Toyota Yaris Cross. And before we continue, if you enjoyed these videos, please subscribe to my channel. We will be making more content and car reviews. So that would help me a lot. Click like and subscribe to my channel. So let's continue. Let's unlock it. And we are greeted by these day running lights, which looks quite nice. It gives it a little bit of character. Uh, really bold front, if you ask me. Let's take a step from the side. This is the side view. Well, it's, it looks like a really compact uh, SUV. I'm not a fan of uh, not round arches, but hey, you get what you get. The same is at the front. Now moving back to the rear. It has the same taillights design from the Yaris, which looks quite neat. And of course, this is a hybrid. This is 1.5 liters gasoline engine. I'm not a fan of uh, these cars because they give you nothing in return. I mean, it's, it's a cheap car, yes, but it was made only because that Toyota could sell more of these cars. So that is the only reason. So yeah, that is the only reason because it's cheap. It offers you no comfort, nothing. It's just plain and simple, just to get you from the point A to the point B. So this is how the interior of the Yaris Cross looks like. Let's start it up. And we are greeted by Toyota. And infotainment system starts up as well. This one actually takes a while to load up. Uh, as you can see, a plenty of time has passed and we are getting this caution message and it's still loading. Here we go. Right, so uh, we got a cloth interior uh, with some cheap plastic everywhere. And uh, yeah, this part, this section looks weird if you ask me just like the car itself from the outside. In my taste, uh, we got the handle right here, which is not comfortable in my preference. Uh, the release mechanism, uh, power windows. Right here we have heated steering wheel. Now the steering wheel itself is quite comfortable, nice leather. Oh, this part right here is plastic, but uh, not as cheap plastic as right here. So that's good. As for the drive modes, uh, let's turn on the vehicle mode and uh, right here that is what I told you it takes forever to load anything. We can see our tire pressures, energy flow, uh, drive information, fuel consumption uh, and we have three drive modes. We can select them with this button right here and we have normal, power and eco as well as we can turn off the traction control and uh, toggle the EV mode. And the gearbox is the same as you would find on any other Toyota hybrid in this price point at this time. We also have uh, heated seats with a single USB outlet. The seat is adequate, it's not the most comfortable thing. And uh, oh yeah, the steering wheel just heated up. And uh, yeah, the top section right here is not heated, only the sides. Yeah, only the sides is heated. Uh, this from here right to here, only these parts are heated. All right, so I am six feet five and uh, the seat is adjusted to my liking. Uh, there is plenty of space for me, as well as it should be in the passenger seat. But let's take a step outside and see how much space would I get there. I'm not expecting anything too much, but at least something. Let's move my backpack out of the way. And uh, well, 
That is not what I would call something. Let's try to get in. Oh my, this is even worse than in Toyota Corolla. I mean, I'm not comparing this car for, with the Yaris itself, because this is Yaris Cross. It's supposed to be bigger, uh, that you could fit your uh, kids and uh, other small creatures like dogs <laughs> and pets. Yeah, but uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's just impossible for me to sit behind myself. If someone uh, smaller was sitting in the front, I would be, well, quite comfortable. Well, not comfortable, but uh, the trip would be acceptable uh, for the passenger in the back. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We have a single cup holder spot uh, in the rear door panel, and we do not have any armrest. Uh, of course, the seats do fall down, and that's pretty much it. Let's check the trunk. And uh, it's uh, adequate space, it's reasonable. It's not automated, so yeah. And uh, let's take it for a spin. Okay, let's start our drive and put this car in normal, because that, that's what we would normally do. And uh, let's take it for a spin. Let's obviously start with our favorite highway test. Of course, it's not a very long highway, but we will still be able to see how it does. And does it have a lot of wind noise? Which I suppose it does, because let's be honest, it's Yaris, it's a cheap car, it's not made for highways. And let's floor it feels a little bit slow but yeah we emerged in there's not a lot of traffic but uh, yeah it's it's slow uh, it's I believe it's the same engine as uh, in Corolla and in Yaris but uh, it's slower because this car is, is bigger way bigger but yeah that's that's what you get from it uh, what I don't really like about the Toyota hybrids is as uh, the gasoline-powered engine kicks in, it makes a lot of noise. A lot of noise. It's really noticeable and really loud. And uh, as for the wind noise, and uh, I can hear other cars pretty well. Well, it's it's there. There's no soundproofing in this car. But yeah, I mean, then again, it's cheap car. Uh, let's not uh, expect anything too much from it. So the ride is quite comfortable uh, because it's a raised car. I wouldn't drive a lot this car on the highway, but in the city, uh, if you need to have a raised car, I mean, uh, with a higher wheel career, with a higher clearance, then yeah, this car uh, is compact, is raised up. It will do the job to get the groceries, to get the kids from the school. Uh, yeah, what else could you want from the car? But uh, a part of that, it's not the best car. Uh, as I mentioned, my opinion is that Toyota made this car just that they could sell more uh, of the cheap cars because this is a cheap car there's nothing exciting about this car it's just plain and simple car it's it's a let me put it this way this is the car you would buy if you needed to buy a brand new car from the dealership but you didn't really care what car was it and you just wanted to keep some money for yourself so yeah so you would go ahead and buy a car like this but yeah i mean don't get me wrong uh, even I don't really like this car, it's nothing bad about it. Uh, the hybrid works well, uh, it's a cheap little car that is cheap to drive and gets you where you need to go. So yeah. So let's try the last test, 0 to 100. So first thing, let's put it in power mode and turn off that traction control off. And uh, let's apply brake, throttle, and three, two, one, go. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. 
Well, that was pretty slow. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked this review, please subscribe to my channel, click like and leave a comment what you liked or disliked about this video. Maybe you disliked me. So anyways, let's log this car and see you later.